warmth. What's good, everybody? It's the Wolf W01. It is Zer Weekend once again. Um, I posted the video last week, but I had a rendering issue on, on my actual YouTube video, so I simply brought that down. Um, so, sorry about that, but that was a YouTube problem. I couldn't really do much about that. I tried re-uploading it, but, nah, I, I got busy at the time, and I just, I just said forget it. Anyway, it's their weekend. You will find Zer here at the uh, Crucible Quartermasters. Lord Shaxx and what's-his-face over there. Let's see what he's got this week. It is my will Ooh, to speak he has to Glass House. It increases your melee attack speed, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light last longer. It sounds like a pretty good PvE item. I don't think it'll be all that great for PvP. More like PvP. Eclia Face Symbiote, in my opinion, the best helmet for the Hunter class period. Uh, with this, you gain four shots with your golden gun instead of just three. You also get more super energy from your grenade kills, and you get increased grenade throw distance. It's very good. It's a helmet that you will wear all the time on your Hunter. It's fucking great. Then there's the Obsidian Mind. I have not uh, reviewed this one, actually, as of yet. Increases grenade throw distance, increased super energy gain from killing mains of darkness. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. So, it sounds like it's a good, uh, it sounds like it's good for both PvP and PvE. And then the gun, he has Icebreaker this week. If you don't have any decent snipers, such as, like, mm, I have me, I have Ephrodite Spear. From what I hear, it's actually very good. And uh, you can, like, re-roll Ephrodite Spear. If you don't know what Ephrodite Spear is, it is the Iron Banner Sniper. If you play Iron Banner right now, there is a chance you will get it as a drop in the Iron Banner. But if you don't want to do that, because I know a lot of people want to avoid the um, Crucible in the first place, because, let's be honest, the multiplayer in this game isn't exactly on par with other games that you would probably preferably play. Icebreaker's a decent rifle, nonetheless. I would say buy that. He's got your exotic shards. Go ahead, pick those up if you need them. Let's see what he's got for your upgrades. Light Beyond Nemesis. Sky, Skull of Dire Akamara. No backup plans. Cresta Alpha Lupi. Lucky Raspberry. Eclair Face Symbiote Helmet. Well, okay. Well, you can save your coins and just like upgrade it, I suppose, if you already have it. Bad Juju upgrade, your last word upgrade, Plan C upgrade, Pocket Infinity upgrade, Thunderlord upgrade, and of course, once again, Galahorn upgrade. A lot of these upgrades have actually been, uh, been a repeat. Stealth Drive gives you a red contrail when you boost with your sparrows. I'm actually going to be buying me one of those in a minute. Plasma Drive gives you a blue boost contrail when you boost with your sparrow. Shotgun Telemetry increases the. It makes it so you get your upgrades faster. Same with your hand cannon telemetry, makes it so your hand cans get your upgrades faster. And your scout rifle telemetry, which lets you get your scout rifle upgrades faster. That's what Zer has got this week. And uh, expect to see more videos from me besides just the uh, every Friday upload of Zer. My schedule's opened up, so I'm going to try and do YouTube full time from this point on. So I'll probably try and put like about, to, I don't know, maybe two, three videos up a week. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, if you could subscribe so you never miss a video, that would be appreciated. Leave a like on the video. That would be just as much as appreciated. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out, people. Love ya.